Alrighty, welcome back everyone. I'm going to switch it up. We got salsa out here. Uh, going to the thrift store today. So it's going back to the thrifting vlogs. Now we are here in the, I'd say early to middle of fall. I don't know what salsa is chewing on, but uh, kind of slowing down with flea markets and auctions and stuff like that. So we're going to go back thrifting. Very, very excited going up to Scran. So let's, uh, let's try to find some treasure. Maybe uh, the thrift stores will treat us good and see what happens. Let's do it. All right, first thrift store. We got some East Stroudsburg University uh, game worn jerseys here. These are made by Nike. They're only three bucks each. They're not on sale, but I think I'm going to grab these two. I got this older champion, like a warm up jersey made in USA. This is really cool. It's unfortunate it doesn't have anything about East Stroudsburg on it, but it's the same colors. It's with everything else, so there's there's no way it's not East Stroudsburg. 34. Um, I'm going to grab that. This one, however, has no East Stroudsburg and no patches. So because of that, I'm going to leave that. Uh, but I think if you're like, if you go to this school, you want to wear something to the game, you want to wear a jersey, this is a great buy for three bucks a piece. So it's nine dollars. And this one's really, really cool. So I'm going to grab this with the champion logo on the sleeve. I think that's a good buy there. It's nice, all this thrift store. This is the one that's in Wilkesbury. They have their own section for just sports stuff. So it's not like buried into the uh, the t-shirts and other kind of clothes. Are these the uh, basketball shirts? Shorts? They are. I haven't done really well with selling uh, basketball shorts for school, so I think I had to pass on those. Those are the, the ones that match this. Now, you know what? I'll buy the one. I think this one said 32. One of them said 32. This, uh, no, they don't. All right. That one's got some schmutz on it, so that's a no go. Someone seems to have got very uh, artsy and craftsy here. You got some paint, paint and mason jar. Probably about two years ago, this was like the hottest trend painting mason jars great for weddings oh what's this oh it's chipped this one that this is one of those uh, flamingo striped I've never seen it in a bowl and it should have a gold stamp on the bottom that says Pyrex but this is not that is really interesting got some imitation carnival glass it's the one that's the friend yeah France it's like uh, this is Colco? Is that the same kind of, or not? It says France on it. I feel like that's the same kind of cast iron skillets I just found. Silver plate. Alright, so does it have the gold stamp? No, this one's, oh, there it was. You guys might be able to see a little bit of a gold flake. It's not really showing up too well. You can kind of see it. It's kind of a gold flake. So that used to be a Pyrex. That's their lime green, or I think it's key lime green. These things are not cheap when you hmm. I'll have to think about this one. I don't know what size this is. It looks tiny. There we go. Size six and three eighths to seven, so it's a youth size. June 2006. So it's probably, I don't know if these things have a 10 year span or whatever, but that's a really cool looking face shield on that. All right, it's been a really long time since I found some fire department t shirts. Here we got FDNY Brooklyn Ladder 118. Uh, but this thing is way gone. Look, uh, 
Yep, there you can see the stains. Stains up there. This might be blood stains. Nothing too crazy on the back. Sometimes the back of these shirts have really, really nice graphics. Like of a, like a logo, whatever is like the mascot of that ladder engine company. But this one is pretty basic. However, I would grab it, but the blood stains and whatever kind of stain that is. That might be soup stain or... I don't know. Uh, because of that, I'm not going to grab it. But this is definitely ideal. Anything with a certain engine company or ladder company out of any of the five boroughs in New York City. So extremely well because there's so many of them and there's so many New York City fire department buffs that just love collecting fire department stuff. All right, kind of like a refresher course, I guess, today since it's been so long, but a nice reverse weave sweatshirt. Uh, the issue I not know is reverse weave because it wouldn't have the tag on it. I can kind of see a little bit of it. It says, I don't know, there's just some numbers. But it's the right font and color of the top of the tag, as I remember. It also has the right weight and the right look. However, the problem with buying these reverse weaves if they're missing a tag is since they fit so differently than a modern day sweatshirt, they are so off of their sizing. So like an XL today would fit like a 3XL in the vintage sweatshirt uh, and it would be extremely long. So if this was a large, it would fit very, very narrow and fit like a long, smaller medium. So I'm thinking this was probably an XL and it fits like a long medium. Nothing really too wrong with it. I think I'm going to grab it. It's still in good shape in terms of no staining. The distress on it isn't too much. The only downside is it's four bucks. It's not on sale. And I guess it doesn't have a tag, but it's, a, it's like a 15 or $20 sweatshirt. I've sold so many of them, and a lot of people in Japan actually buy them. There's somebody in California that ships them over, and I probably sold maybe 20 or 25 to this one guy who ships them over there because I asked them. So they're sought after over there. All right, they brought out a fresh cart. They bring out a lot of fresh carts. I went back and got this white jersey because I realized it was 99 cents. And for 99 cents, I'm not going to pass up a game worn college jersey that's bananas. Um, so I'm going to grab it. I don't know why it's 99 cents. I don't see any flaws with it, but I guess it is what it is. There's also a bunch of those, these uh, East Stroudsburg shorts. They are spread out throughout this whole store in different colors. But once again, they're all these odd sizes and most of them don't have any sort of logoing like that on them, so I might just leave them. All right, kind of switching up the pattern here, we have a post office shirt. I don't see a tag size, it says large on it, but it's probably not large. It, well, it doesn't say large, but you have the patch on the side. You got two, you got three. So, they don't look stained at all, I don't think. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. Are they all the same size? That's a big question. So grabbing all the post office shirts, I think I, if I bundle them up, I could probably get 25, 35 for them. They're fortunately they're all the same sizes, so that's a good buy there, I think. Alright, so I made it back home. Salsa is sniffing the goods like always. Probably our favorite thing is sniffing new things that come into the house. But uh, these are kind of my favorite finds, things I didn't really talk about too much on camera. I do have all the jerseys over there. Uh, here is the Chicago Bulls. If there's the most iconic 90 sports team, it's definitely Chicago Bulls. But the big kicker here is this is the reverse weave uh, sweatpants. And what's even crazier is I can see there says 34 on it. So I'm wondering if this might have been like a team-issued pants. All right. Size uh, has number 34. It's a really big size, so it could be very possible that it was a team-issued pair of pants. Champion reverse weave sweatpants are really sought after. They're really hard to find. I had I found two pairs probably about three years ago at a thrift store. I put them online for, I think, $85, and they sold within an hour. So definitely sold them too cheap, 85 bucks for a pair of sweatpants. I thought I was crazy, uh, but apparently, you know, I, I uh, undersold them. Another thing is, I don't really go through the women's section, but I found these nice Patagonia pants. These are about $25 to $35 orange. Very, very nice color. No real damage to them. But just kind of a thing is to go through different sections. Uh, I had some extra time to kill, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to just try going through the women's pants. And these were here. So Patagonia is still a very, very good brand. 
and for three bucks i figured hey what the heck same with this this was on sale for two dollars so another great deal all around and then also stopping off at a smaller thrift store this is volunteers of america uh, i paid two dollars and fifty cents for this this is also half off a nice 1999 the rock good old wrestling t-shirt dwayne johnson most uh most nobly known now as an actor he was definitely a wrestler I watched growing up while I used to watch wrestling uh, up until maybe I was like 10 or 12 years old. And uh, very, very cool to kind of see that kind of vintage graphic, big logo, The Rock uh, wrestling t-shirt. So overall, it was a very, very fun day. I know I haven't been going thrifting in a very, very long time. It's been a, a while since I've done a full-on thrifting video, but kind of switching up here for this week, trying something a little bit different. Very, very excited with everything that I found kind of gives me the motivation to keep on going out and go out thrifting again in future weeks. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smack the like button for me, subscribe for more treasure hunts in the future, and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow for the next adventure. As always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.